Welcome back, everyone. Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski. The EA Sports broadcast team is fired up to bring you this one here tonight. The Silver Knights come into this one potentially a little tired based on what went down last night. And that's where the coach is going to want to rely, James, on his depth of lineup. You might use a different goalie. You might stretch your bench out a little bit. But the fact of the matter is everybody has to do this. How successful can you be? Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Silver Knights start with possession as we are now underway. And he can't hang on after that hit. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Referee's got his hand extended. He caught that trip right in front of him. Henderson's on the attack. Here comes the call from the official. The Roadrunners have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. The Silver Knights get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Hey, here's a power play and the game is scoreless. What a nice opportunity for them to kick the other team in the shins a little bit, get the lead, and play from in front. And that one fired right into the bench. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Henderson's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Tucson's got it in the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Henderson's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Roadrunners will kill off a few extra seconds now. Gets it out of his own end. Henderson's got the puck along the boards. Nice zone entry from the middle. Takes a wrist shot, stones him with the blocker. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Pass right on the doorstep. Denies him. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot, and he makes the save. Chapeau's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And that's broken off. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. The Roadrunners will play it from the defensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Passes right to the front. Buries it for the goal. I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year. Nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. He one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Henderson's made their way back to center ice here, and they've got that one nothing lead. The road is a funny place to play. You can't really be too aggressive, but when you get an early lead, James, you can open it up a little bit. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. And by number nine, Takes the feed, and he comes up with it. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. 
But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Tucson's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Score by number 26. Takes a nice feed up through the middle now. Assisted by number 27, Michael Bunting. Ferguson's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a tie game. The Roadrunners win the faceoff. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He, he scores! It's in, and I believe that's his first. Congratulations, his first goal. I don't think anybody expects much offense from him, but it's still got to feel good. Quickly, two goals in right around 90 seconds. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Tucson's effort pays off, and they take the one goal lead. You can't even really relax. I mean, it's so much time left in the game. You've got the lead. That's great. Now go and get another one. Henderson's won the draw in the neutral zone. Scored by number two. Coughs it up on the play. Spears scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. And by number From center, they get into the attacking area. Briswood in front. Denies him in close. The centermen glide into position. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Henderson's got it along the wall. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Henderson's got it in their own zone. The Silver Knights take it across the line. And it's a quick pass to Brown. Big save. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Tucson's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Silver Knights will go to work here in the offensive zone. Dismiss that chance. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Denies him on the play. Save is good. Better yet that that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net. It's over into safety in the corner. Chance on the deflection. Big save by the goaltender once again. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Nice zone entry from the left. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Tucson's got the puck in their own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Henderson's moving it up the ice. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there that didn't yeah, work. Yeah, it doesn't work. No, though. none. Henderson's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. 
You never really know when the chance to tie a game will come. But now you've got a great opportunity on the power play. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Clearing attempt. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Henderson's in now. Can't hang on after that hit. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck under man. They clear the zone. Henderson's got it from behind the net. The Silver Knights move it ahead. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Can't get it to go. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Henderson's got it behind the net. With some open space at center. Here's the pass. And he takes a shot. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. He was left in there. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. And a successful clearing attempt. Henderson's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Can't catch up to the pass. Receives the pass. The Silver Knights are still down a goal after the power play comes up empty. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Moves the puck. The Silver Knights gain control of it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Big time stop there. Quick feed to Brown. Here's a shot, and he stands tall in goal. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. The good old days of hockey are back. Vintage jerseys are now available at kiosks throughout the arena and at our main store. Pick yours up before they... As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Official has made his way back to center ice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Silver Knights are going to have to find a possession game that looks a lot different than that first period. They chased it around, and as a result, they're chasing the game. Here he is from the slot, and that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Moves inside. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Tucson's got it in their own zone. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tucson's got control of it now from their own end. The Roadrunners move it in. Tucson's got the puck against the wall. Manages to hang on. And he regains control of the puck. Scores! And they are on a roll now, Razor. You can start to see this game's going to run away if then goal scoring doesn't slow down here. Once you get a stick on it, it is total chaos for the goalie. It's reaction, it's luck. He couldn't catch up to that one. Now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Scored by number 26. From one point man to another. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. The Silver Knights have it against the wall. McKinn's got it into offensive territory. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Oh, he'll feel that one. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. 
along the wing up the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. He grabs the puck here at the point. Comes up with the stop. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Tucson's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still, they have scored almost at will tonight. Scored by number nine, The Roadrunners play it along the wing. Tip shot, great pad save. And another stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck. Nice pass. The Roadrunners move the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Slides the puck over. That pass goes a little sideways. Gains the zone through the middle. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. That pass doesn't go. Martin's picking up steam. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. And that's picked off. Grabbed along the boards by Martin. Henderson's grabbed a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Jones. And that pass goes awry. Maintains possession. Stopped by the goaltender. The Roadrunners have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Spears wins the draw on their own end. Tucson's got the puck in the defensive end. Pinned up along the boards. Takes control of the puck. The Roadrunners have it now. Gains the zone from the right side. Stays with it. And now he angles it across to Duke. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lecision. Strong defensive effort. The Roadrunners gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Tucson's in transition. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Silver Knights gain possession in their own end. Moves it to Yurko. And that one's turned away. There it is! He scores! All over the rebound, and he taps it in! Once his puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. The Silver Knights have got one late here in the second. What does this do for a team? Well, it gives you a little bit of hope, but man, they've been so far in the hole. This isn't enough hope to think you can really come back. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Takes control of the puck. Henderson's going to play it from the corner. To the low slot. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. It's in! He scores! That's his first! You didn't expect much offense from him, but man, this has taken a long time. Must feel great to get on the board. There's another one that's two goals in just under two minutes. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him.
Jackson's got a chance to change the complexion of this game now with that one. Yeah, get one now, they're within one. Don't take a step back. Push forward. Look for the equalizer. By number 25, by number the Silver Knights scoop it up along the boards. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 38 seconds. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. All right, fans, time for tonight's Lucky Road giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row A. Each fan receives a limited edition player t-shirt. Fans, don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt tonight, only at our team store. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. Well, let's see what this third period can offer in what has been a score fest thus far. Ray Ferraro is between the benches and ice left. He scores! Well, they say good things come to those who wait. Well, uh, he's been waiting, that's for sure. He got through his rookie year with nothing, but now he's got one on the board. The goaltender never picks this up. There's so many people in front of the net. But how does the puck get through all of those people without hitting a body or a stick? It is a seeing-eye shot. The Roadrunners have extended the lead by two here early in this third period. It's funny how one goal changes just about everything, James. Now they've got a little bit of leeway with that two-goal cushion. Right in the slot! Here he is in front! Blocked in traffic. They fight for it along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Tucson's got it against the boards. Oh, I like the way he's hanging on to this thing. He's got two goals already. If he gets a chance, here might be number three. And now he tries to get it across to Yurko. The Silver Knights carry it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. The Roadrunners looking against the half wall. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puts the puck on net with the stop. Through center along the wing. Couldn't make that one happen. Tucson's got possession at center. The Roadrunners have the puck in the corner. Nice poke check. Henderson's got a hold of the puck. Sends it over to McGinn. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. The Roadrunners gain possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Roadrunners take it from the side. Sends the pass over. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Takes the pass from the left wing. Tucson's looking to break out of their own end. They go on the attack through center. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Solid check to slow him down. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Tucson's got the puck. And now it's over to Martin. Puts it to the front of the net. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Picked up along the wall by Martin. Here he is in front. Save made by the goalie. Ferguson's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Iowa's on deck on the schedule. How many guys actually know who's looming? Uh, more than half. I, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know who the next team is on the on Within the, the room? Oh, yeah. They just play the game that's in front of them. Hangs onto the puck. And he slides it quickly to Murphy. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Tucson's got a hold of it along the wall. 
Spears takes it across the line. Here's a shot and a great save. Ferguson's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Tucson's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Across the line from center. Tucson's got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. Henderson's looking to break out. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. Henderson's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Tries it to the crease. And he denied that opportunity. High quality chance, high quality save. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the pass. Now a quick pass to Yurko. Handles the puck from the left side. With the stop. After that stop, puck goes out of play. We got a face-off looming. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. In the final moments of this period, Tucson's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Battle along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Henderson's got the puck along the wall. That's off a stick. Here he is, shot right in front. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. He's not going to get many chances as good as that one. And he's not able to score. A look at the clock. Time is certainly not on their side. Handles it along the blue line. And that's blocked away. 30 seconds left. Just a half minute to go. Towards the gaping Whoa. net. He scores into the empty net. And that's all she wrote. Uh, you can see the one team is going to be able to relax a little bit now as they pad the lead. That should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. Tucson's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Scored by number 18, Lee. Handles the pass at center. Puck grabbed by Hennekeinen. Here's a chance right in the slot. He scores! And I believe that's his first career goal. You bet it is. And while he's not a player expected to score, it's still a pretty darn nice accomplishment for him to get. Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Tucson's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. The Roadrunners win the draw here in the neutral zone. Tucson's got the puck in the defensive end. Battling for it along the boards. And pumps the puck loose inside the offensive end. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The setters will glide into the dot. Send it down between the benches to my broadcast partner in crime, Ray Ferraro. What's your assessment of this one here? That was domination, yeah. James. There was no real way that this game was going to turn out any other way. You saw the first period, the way the game played upon itself, and there was more shots, more possession. It was really a complete win. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.